Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello and welcome to this episode of our show. This is your host, Keith Doherty. Today, our special guest is top real estate agent Naomi Campbell of Caldwell Banker Residential based out of Libertyville, Illinois. Naomi has been an agent since 2000. She has dealt with many types of markets and has worked with distressed sales investors, traditional sales relocation, new construction buyers, and preview properties. She's a top producer in the top 2% with her company, Caldwell Banker, and a loyal Caldwell Banker agent in her entire career in real estate. She has flipped 18 homes in the past three and a half years. She has also been interviewed by Crane Magazine and featured in Chicago Magazine. All right, with all that said, Naomi, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks. Glad to be here. Now, Naomi, if we could start for our listeners, what led you into real estate? Was it something that you always knew you wanted to do, or did you maybe stumble into it? Well, I, I've always loved houses. I love designs. I love remodeling. I love everything to do with houses, floor plans, and seeing how things have evolved from homes that are older homes to brand new construction, and I've always had an interest in the housing market. Excellent. And Naomi, do you think you could talk a little bit about what personal attributes, traits, or qualities you think have most contributed to the success that you've had in real estate? Sure. I'm a get-up-and-go kind of person. I love a challenge. I'm a type A personality, I've been told, when they do personality challenges. And I'm very outgoing, and I love helping people. Um, I used to do collections a long time ago. And it actually gave me a lot of the backbone, I think, to becoming a realtor because you got to deal with things that were not always pleasant when you had to basically do collections. And so going into the sales part seemed to be a lot easier for me. It just became natural to me. And so when people have, you know, no for now, it didn't seem to bother me. It was just like, oh, it's now, it's no, no big deal. We, we can go on and continue at another time and see if it will work for you at that point in time. Um, I got divorced, and I basically got to make a choice in my life of how I wanted to do things. And when I had gotten divorced, I had um, decided that I wanted to do a different path in life and get into becoming a realtor. And I had a lot of help with my dad and uh, my family and so forth to uh, help me get into it. Excellent. And do you think give our listeners an example of when these traits have played a role in your path towards success? Um, being a single mom and getting divorced is a scary thing. And so basically you have to figure out what you're going to do. I basically had stopped working full time once I had my daughter, who's now 21. And I decided that um, I needed to get into something that I would enjoy and be able to still have time for her at the same time and raising her. And so I think that's kind of basically between loving the housing and being able to figure out what I wanted to do, this is like a perfect fit. And Naomi, I think whenever somebody builds a successful career or business, that sometimes the path to get there is filled with bumps in the road. Can you talk about some of the adversities and trials that you've had to overcome in order to achieve your goals? Um, when I had gotten divorced, my dad had helped me more and just the normal dad stuff. Um, he had me really stop and think about what I wanted to do and come up with a plan and execute it. He's a great guy, and he's also one of my best friends. <laughs> he, uh, he helped me with, you name it, with figuring out how I needed to get into stuff. Um, we need to go through a rough bump in the road, and I really am grateful that I had him in my life at the time. It's and, Naomi, as these obstacles came your way, you know, what, what kept you going despite these obstacles? Why didn't you give up? What was your driving force? Being a single mom and deciding that you wanted to get into something that was different and be able to support yourself and your child is something that um, I just don't take no for an answer. And I guess my personality is one that is just willing to get up and go and do what I need to do to be able to make things happen in my life. And, I love my daughter to death, and I have a son now, and they're my driving force. And looking forward, what's your vision for your business and your career over the next five years? 
I'm pretty busy. I'm in the top 2% with being a realtor at this point in time in my life, and I, I just want to stay where I'm at. I, I love what I do. I love helping people. I love everything with the housing market. I do do some flipping as well. I work with investors. I work with builders. My business is open to many things between the short sales and the foreclosure market to working with investors, with working with first-time home buyers, with working with um, upscale previous properties, to you name it. I love helping everybody, whether it's a relocation buyer to whether it's a first-time home buyer to a previous property, which is basically a higher-end property. I love what I do. I don't have one thing that wants to change. I just want to continue with going into what I'm doing now and keep going. And I guess kind of on top of that, what do you feel is the best way you market yourself as a real estate professional so that you can have continual growth? The Internet. <laughs> the Internet is huge. 97% of the buyers and even sellers come from the Internet. I have my own website, which is a little out there. I'm a Sir Cheetah Realtor on the internet, and you can find me that way. I also am on Zillow and Trulia and Realer.com, and I have lots of listings, and I get lots of referrals from past clients. I get a lot of really nice reviews. I meet a lot of really nice people and have developed a lot of friendships even after they've closed on their home and have kept in touch with a lot of these people. And I'm on social media and all sorts of networking to be able to get things done, whether it's on Instagram, um, Facebook, my business page, my personal page, you name it. I stay in touch with people. It's amazing to watch everybody's families grow, and I feel so blessed to be part of their lives. And Naomi, I think sometimes when the general public looks at real estate agents, they don't fully understand the value that they provide from both a buyer and a seller standpoint. What do you think the biggest misconception or myth people have about working with a real estate agent? Well, they think that they get all the information from the Internet. And I'm not going to lie and say that you don't get some information from it, but there's also a lot of value that um, a realtor can bring to the table with doing stuff. I mean, whether it be, here's what you need to do to maximize your best bang for the buck, or even color schemes or staging a home and so forth. And a good realtor is going to be able to help you, if not tell you exactly what you need to do to make things happen, have connections for you of people that might be able to help you and assist you with getting the job done, um, even show you value with maybe buying something that is a distress sale that you know, maybe somebody couldn't afford to put the money in for whatever the reason they had a hardship in their life. So a realtor would be able to say, hey, if you do this, this, and this, people can't see sometimes beyond the trees, as I call it, into the forest, or out of the forest, maybe I should say. So it's kind of nice that you can have a realtor that will be able to assist you from the very beginning to the very end to help you with, whether it's not just the buying process, but telling you what is a good value and what isn't a good value, where you're going to get your best bang for the buck, how to, what you're selling or buying, what you should be looking for, and so forth. I just think that you know, our jobs will never end because, you know, this is something that if you know what you need to do and how fast you can get something sold, it's going to be a benefit for um, the buyer or the seller so that they would be able to get further down the road with their purchase or their sale to be able to move into the next part of their life, whatever it may be. And let's say you get a call from a family member or a friend, and they're in another state, and they want to sell their home. Now, obviously, with your experience and probably with your connections, you could easily look up an agent and do a referral. But from a general advice standpoint, what advice would you give them about selecting an agent that could best serve their needs? Well, first, I want to tell you the lovely thing with Cobalt Bankers that we as agents have the world's largest relocation department, and I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, we are able to help people in any part of the world, not just in the States, but any part of the world. So I obviously would try to find somebody for them. Um, my job doesn't end just because you're moving out of state, and I don't want to stop talking to somebody that I've done business with or have become friends with throughout time. I would make sure that the person had some idea of things to be asking for, like making sure they're getting a full-time agent, not a part-time agent, making sure that somebody is going to have connections for the same things that I offer, the services that I offer, so that the person would be able to assist them in the same way that I can assist them. 
it's just a win-win situation. But I would refer them to somebody, and I would make sure that the person who's going to be helping the person that I'm recommending them to actually reaches out to me first so that I can ask that person a lot of questions to make sure that they're going to have the necessary tools to help the person I'm referring to them so that it's a good match. Excellent. And obviously you're, you're based out of the Libertyville, Illinois, which is the general uh, Chicagoland area. So if somebody's looking for real estate services or an agent in that general area, what's the best way they can find out more information about you and how you can help them? Well, I'm available. I'm user-friendly. I'm available through the Internet. They can go to my website, which is Cheetah Realtor. It's very simple. I have a little whacked out uh, real estate page that will give you lots of information. They can text me, or they can call me, or they can email me. My cell phone's the best phone to reach me at, which is 847-370-5065, or they can email me at Naomi, N-A-O-M-I, period, Campbell, C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L, at C as in Coldwell, B as in Banker, Exchange, E-X, C-H-A-N-G-E dot com. And I would love to hear from anybody who's looking to buy or sell. Excellent. Well, Naomi, I obviously want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to come here today and share all your professional real estate experience with our listeners. And if you're listening and you want to learn more about Naomi, uh, below this interview we'll have any contact information we have so you can reach out and see how she can help you with your real estate needs. So with that said, until our next show, have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.